Welcome to part two of the Johnson 1941 rifle. In this video, we're going to address assembly of the rifle, and then we're going to have some slow motion video on loading and operation of the rifle. Let's get started. Okay, now we're going to address how to assemble the Johnson 1941 rifle. So we already have the bolt cam assembly partially assembled with the firing pin and the firing pin retainer installed. And then we're going to take that cam roller side up and cam roller side up on the bolt and we will insert the cam assembly into the bolt so that both cam rollers are facing up nearly together not quite joined together but close and then we're going to go ahead and insert you can see there are rails on the back of the receiver that align with the bolt so we will insert the bolt both cam rollers up and then we'll insert the bolt not all the way into battery but about two-thirds of the way and you can only install the extractor and the bolt handle once the bolt is partially inserted so next we'll take the extractor and we will insert the extractor in that slot the slot on the side of the bolt and align the hole that you can see and that hole will be secured with this detent on the cocking handle. So the cocking handle, this point here, this portion that extends out, will go towards the front of the weapon. Now the extractor has a little bit of spring tension on it, so you're going to have to actually push this down. It almost requires three hands, but you need to push down on the extractor while you're simultaneously pushing the control handle down and then to the rear while you're pushing this pin up, while you're also simultaneously trying to keep the bolt from going to the rear. So it can be a tad tricky. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn this around so that I can do it right-handed. And so we have this pointed towards the front. I'm gonna keep that from going, the bolt assembly from wanting to travel to the rear and then once you get it in the channel you just simply push the cocking handle to the rear and again it's under some spring tension with the extractor until it locks into place and now the bolt is fully assembled in the receiver. The next step is to assemble, almost knocked the camera over there, is to assemble the receiver to the buttstock and the fire control group. And there's simply two sets of slots that align with corresponding rails in the, the buttstock and the fire control group. And these simply align, you push these forward and then you take your frame pin and the frame pin secures these two together and there is a little bit of a detent spring you have to fully secure it once the pin is in you have to secure it underneath this little lip in the receiver so that the pin doesn't inadvertently move out when you're when you're operating the weapon so the next step is to install the bolt stop. The bolt stop here just simply slides into the rear of the receiver. And then we will secure the the bolt to the recoil spring in the back and then the final assembly of the receiver is the bolt stop plate and it has a spring de detent on the right side so you'll simply put it in there until it the bolt detent comes into contact with the receiver push that down and just push it till it locks into place and then the rifle minus the barrel is 
fully assembled. And we can just verify it. Bolt stop does function correctly here. The final step is to install the barrel. And to install the barrel, you have to ensure that the let me move the camera just here a little bit. You have to ensure that the spring assembly, which holds the barrel into place, is in the down position. And then you can take the barrel and you want to make sure that this rear lug is down and it'll go into a corresponding rail on the bottom of the and then you'll want to push it back so that this collar is about an eighth of an inch to the rear and then pop this assembly into place. And then the rifle is now fully assembled. All right, to load the Johnson 1941, go ahead and close the bolt. And you can see here, my, there's a little bit of a shadow, but that's the stripper clip channel. Use a standard military issue five round stripper clips and pretty straightforward to load. Yeah, that's 10 rounds. Last thing I want to show you, just a couple of slow motion shots of the weapon firing. You can see the, the bolt reciprocating to the rear. And at the same time that this is going on, the, the barrel also reciprocates about a half an inch. So the barrel during each of these, it's hard to see because of the blurry slow motion shot here but the barrel actually moves back about half of an inch. And then at that point, the bolt is, uh, rotates and unlocks from the barrel. So thanks for joining us uh, at Newmarket Arms for this brief overview, uh, maybe not so brief, overview of the Johnson 1941 rifle. Uh, please uh, subscribe and thank you, and we'll, uh, we'll have some more videos up shortly.